I'm at the Rural Activities Centre with a couple of the volunteers. Um, we've, I've come down just to see what's happening in terms of the long-term future of the Rural Activities Centre. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name's Bronwyn Price. And um, your role, Bronwyn? I mainly run the Friends of the RHEC. What do the Friends do? We try and raise money, we raise awareness in the community of all the wonderful things that our gardeners are doing. How can people become involved? They simply leave their um, email address at the site when they come and visit and then we'll send them our quarterly newsletter and any help they care to give us we're more than happy to have it. Brilliant. Introduce yourself. I'm Bob Gardner, I'm a parent carer at the RAGC. Tell us what happened to them. Um, people with learning disabilities uh, come in here and they start and they plant plants, they seed, seeds and grow everything so that they can sell it to the public. When they come here, often they'll have come here, they won't have been in employment or they won't have had any training. So people are trained into basic gardening techniques. Yes, they are. They, they're taught from the very basics of gardening, from the pricking out of plants to sales if they can manage it. And they're very, very happy and they learn skills. They've got a craft centre, um, they, they take uh, MBQs in uh, garden management and uh, they're doing very well. How is it organised? It's generally organised by the three main uh, people who work down here and uh, they're, they're very, very good people and they know the service users and they get on very well. What support do you want from the local people? We'd like the local people to be aware of this uh, centre and to come down, buy plants, uh, sign up to the parent uh, carers group and try and help us out as much as they can. When is it open? It's open five days a week from 9 until 4pm. What, what sort of things can people buy here? Um, everything uh, from vegetables which they've sold an awful lot of this year which coincide with people growing more vegetables at home and everything else. Um, they'll grow, they do herbaceous stuff for borders, they'll do uh, all sorts of stuff for baskets and uh, even herbs. So anything anyone would ever want for their garden they can get here? Yes they can. And at yes. the same time they're supporting the local useful projects? Yes. What do you think people who come here, trainees, the attendees, what do they get out of it? They get a sense of self-worth, they get friendship, uh, and they get very, very happy in doing this sort of thing, and they uh, they, they feel they've achieved something. Mm. That sense of achievement is important to them. Very, yeah. very important. Yes. yes. What I've liked about here over the years, every time I've come down here, the atmosphere is tremendous. It's a really nice and friendly atmosphere. But this is a commercial concern, isn't it? Even though it's a charity, and even though it's working with people with special needs, nevertheless there needs to be an income, doesn't there? Yes, definitely. So local people can help in that when they, if they do their purchases here? Yes, yeah? they get very good value, very reasonable prices. And good plants, I can yes. testify for that from my own garden. Yes. What's the future? We just want to see the place grow and expand. We want to become more part of the community. We want to sell more and more unusual things so we can compete with other garden centres. But we think we compete in other ways. We, can, we compete on the friendliness and, and the way that we all interact with each other and with our customers. We're really looking forward to it. Just remind people how they become a friend. Please come down to the RAGC, which is in Hillingdon. Um, sign up on the board, leave your email address, you'll get our quarterly email and we really look forward to welcoming you on board. And we can, that's a way of keeping people informed yes. and how they can support the centre itself. Yes. Okay. That's wonderful, thank you. Alright, well thanks for all that you both do, I think this is a tremendous project. And we've got to secure not just its long term future, but it's also about ensuring its successful future, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Well done. Thanks for your time, John.